Hey guys, uh, how's it going? First and foremost from the Dominican Republic. I'm just waiting for some people to come up here. Um, I want Roger to know that I'm online for the cause and I'll tell you guys now. This is Kevin. Say hi, Kevin. How's it going, guys? We're in the Dominican Republic and I'm sorry that I'm having to use it with my phone. So if I'm shaky a little bit, it's because I can't figure out the software on my computer to go live. This is actually the first live on the channel. I don't even know if there's somebody. Um, Roger, are you on? Uh, let me see, how do I see? You know, there's something that really irritates me when I see live streams. People are always like, are we on, are we on? Like, what's going on? Um, so, yeah, we're in the Dominican Republic. Hey, Dave, what's up? And uh, we're in Luperon. And unfortunately, this is not gonna be a very happy um, live stream. Uh, I'm doing this to, to raise some awareness. Um, I've been contacted right now about 10 minutes ago. I was just standing outside uh, making some plans to go to the boat tomorrow. And we were asked, hey, do you know that Patrick Childers has coronavirus and he's in South Africa? So I have goosebumps all over my body right now. Apart from the fact that I'm like, first of all, sad that I couldn't do my first live about something amazing. I felt like I have to act because they're in South Africa, they're in Cape Town, and Patrick is doing really, really bad. So for those of you that don't know Patrick, maybe you should, um, you should Google Patrick Childers. Um, he's a very keen sailor, he has a YouTube channel, he's got a boat called Brickhouse, and he's in very critical condition right now. Now, I was told that he has a GoFundMe account set up for him right now. I think they've raised about $7,300 right now. Why I'm doing this live is because he's in Cape Town, my hometown, and he is probably there in a hospital somewhere, and I don't know which one. But Kevin, he's one of the crew members on the show. You guys will still get to meet him as the episodes evolve, where magic is... Yeah. Is, uh, we have another crew member behind the camera standing there, but we're not allowed to show him himself yet Later for on. some reasons that you will still realize why. Um, I want to give you guys updates on what's happening there, but I don't know much. So if anybody knows Patrick better than I know from the YouTube world, please will you let him know that I have family in South Africa in Cape Town waiting to hear what they can do right now. Um, Kevin has family there, I have family. Wherever, yeah. Yeah. So we have a lot of friends outside, family we grew up in South Africa. So obviously we want to use our connections to help you, the, the, the family as much as we can. Patrick and obviously Rebecca as well, she's in a bit of a situation. So we're trying to help from our side and even though we're on the other side of the world, I know we can use our friends and family to, to do something. Patrick looks like he's about 68 or 70. That isn't really great as the mortality rate. Exactly that. And so there's a link that his wife had posted for his GoFundMe. It's uh, gofundme.com forward slash childress. That's C-H-I-L-D, like child, R-E-S-S, COVID care. I don't know how to copy and paste that. Although I'm a YouTuber, I'm really bad with social media. I can sell though, that I can tell you. I can sell and I can hold a camera, but copy and pasting stuff, and that's why I'm also doing this on my phone, uh, is not my, my strong point. So, I'll, seeing that we're here, let's speak a little bit about the boat, um, Magic. So, uh, maybe a little bit, what do you think? Where's Magic? What's the state? Well, basically, when I jumped in on the project and I wanted to get involved and help this project come to life, actually, because Stefan obviously had the ideas and the plans and the videos going on already, but it needs more hands to make it actually work. So, I jumped in with him and another crew member to get the boat in tip top position, and she's getting there. It's taking time, but she's looking much better now. She's actually almost ready to sail, I would say. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, getting, it's getting much better. So, when Kevin got here in the Dominican Republic, I told him, I have this beautiful boat. He looked at it and he's like, Is it this one? <laughs> Which one are you talking about? You said you had a beautiful boat. This is not it, is it? I'm like, This is it, my friend. So. <laughs> After three months of working real hard, we've moved mountains, guys. Um, we've really moved mountains. And that's why I feel so saddened for Patrick right now is because we've all tried to dodge this freaking virus. And we all have our opinions about it. 
Let's not go into that, but um, I'm just hoping that they're fine. I want to say that the Paper Boat Project and myself support all sailors in need everywhere. But of course, when you're in South Africa, um, you can be assured that I'll make sure that you're cool. It hits home quite a lot. Owen, all you people around there that's been supporting Billy Boy, I mean, guys, you guys are fucking awesome. Um, and I'll say that on live because I can delete it afterwards and then nobody can tell me that I have a foul mouth. But this has been a real, real tough journey. I mean, you guys saw me on Sailing Miss Lone Star and on the previous channel and I left and I had to do all these things to come back and fix my boat up. But you know what, as in life, you know, you just keep keeping on and you just put the one foot ahead of the other foot and you just do what you need to do and you pursue and you keep a good attitude and you make sure there's lots of rum in the cabinet for the days that you don't feel that positive. Especially being in the Caribbean. Yeah, yeah, especially being in the Caribbean. But I think you guys are going to be very, very proud yeah. of me and of everybody here that what we've accomplished. We've accomplished a lot. So while Kevy here, he was put in a, a difficult position. Um, so JC Patrick is in a very, very critical condition. I actually feel bad smiling and being happy on this thing, but I guess that's just life. I mean. He's in a very, very critical condition. His kidneys aren't working anymore. He does not... Um, he was on a ventilator, trying, struggling to breathe for a while, and, and they, when they switched the ventilator off, it, did, it was just struggling a bit. So it is isn't that situation in time where you have to like put your prayers to the game, I would say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I mean, I don't have a big YouTube channel yet. Like I'm looking up and there's like 32 people in here and I'm going, I used to see numbers like 50,000 people <laughs> watching me live when I was on different other platforms. But um, I mean, yeah, I can just do what I can do. And what I can do is offer help, offer uh, love, support, and anything that needs to be done in Cape Town right now in the middle of the night, I've spoken to all my friends, well, most of my friends there. And my family is ready to accept you or your wife into their homes if it's safe and if they can. And if there's anything that we can do to support. Um, Roger Davis, very good friend of mine, um, who runs the YouTube sailing channels, is the one that alerted me about this and said, hey, what can we do? So, man, guys, isn't it? The sailing community is just so amazing. We still love you, man. SML, so what? I watched for you. Thanks, Alan. Thank you so much. That means a lot. Um, so, what's the difference between power boaters and sailors? Let's talk about that for a second. I remember being in the Chesapeake Bay on a small little 29 foot pink boat. We'll not speak about why I was on that pink boat. Why did I find myself on a <laughs> pink boat? It's still a boat, at least. Any case. Least. Any case. Um, and we had some troubles, and there was power boaters, and there was, a, there was some sailors. And the trouble that we had, everybody that was on sailboat saw and rushed over and helped. And I felt like at the end, and I'm not saying anything against power boaters, he's a power boater. Was. I'm converting a bit to the sailboat <laughs> life, but I'm sure I'll be jumping back and forth over my life. Just didn't even see what was going on. And this is something that's so amazing for me about the sailing community. And I, this is why I do this, and this is why I do the YouTube, is just to share as much as I positive, positively can, because everybody always shares back and helps. And so, yeah, that's, um, that's all I can do is just offer what I can and what I can offer, not much, but if anybody has any information about him and his state and you can contact me directly, I'm on East Coast America time. Um, the new number is that 35% of those infected will show no symptoms. Whew. Saw Patrick work on his boat at Mir and Sia. Who did Donner carry the virus? Frick, I don't know, but he's got the virus, eh? and they obviously got it in South Africa. So that's real sad. I mean, I wish I was there to help. So and the odds is that it's we're sitting on ten to, to eleven thousand people with the actual virus confirmed, but the deaths the death toll is quite low. So it's surprising that people are getting it on the boats because I would think more people inland who are talking to people quite a lot seeing people in the streets and so on. That'll be the more the, the, the passes of the disease. Yeah. But I think it's just the age difference. I think that's why they're more so to get the disease. So, I mean, the sailing community has helped quite a bit. I mean, she's got $7,520 already raised of 10,000 is their goal. So it seems like, you know, that's good. I see here uh, Linda Grimes 
$30 nine minutes ago, Anonymous $20 ago, Leeton and Julia Glucas $100 well done, ago. Sure. I mean, thank you so much, guys, for helping. I wish this was my Patreon page. <laughs> $30, $20 ago, and no, I'm just trying to make yeah, light of a situation. It's, it's, it's all it's um, not a joke, but it's, it's, it's sometimes you need to laugh when there's a bit of seriousness. And so all I can ask, guys, is um, if you're in South Africa, in the Cape Town area, see if there's anything that you guys can do to help. Go to the, um, to the GoFundMe page. It seems that they're close to 10000 and I'm not sure what their financial situation is. It doesn't really matter what the financial situation is. Um, she came out with a real honest, open interview and I just got chills all over my body. At the end, she was saying she doesn't mind if she, will, if she could carry him back to the boat. She just wants him back and she's so concerned. So um, I thought I'd jump on this and just do quickly something. Um, before we, I jump off this, let's do something positive, man. I feel so heavy right now. Let's yeah. just speak about something positive. Okay. Uh, the, Jesse, the GoFundMe page, I will post it on my Facebook under Stefan Heiberg and then also on the Paperboat Project on Facebook. I'll post the link and I'll post it right now. Uh, let me just copy this. This I actually know what to, how to do it. <laughs> um, so that's kind of cool. But in any case, life in Dominican Republic, guys, under coronavirus is real interesting. Um, I heard that in South Africa with AIDS, Congo fever and malaria, COVID-19 was too scared to show up there. <laughs> no, it showed up. It showed up. Uh, let's post this. So okay, let's post it to Stefan Heiberg and then also go like the Paperboat Project page. And please, guys, this is not a punt for my channel. This is not a punt for the Paperboat Project. I'm not jumping on this for awareness for myself. I'd be an asshole if I did that. I'm just trying to do this so I can help out. Because there's some real interesting characters on YouTube. They'll be like, oh, he just did this because he wants people to see. This is not a promotional video. This is a, almost trying to get out and speak to the people that are, can help in situations like this. Okay, I'm posting right. it right now, guys. Yeah, let's see if we can help push that number up to 10,000. I know it's, it's a lot of money, but people need it more than we do. I yeah. think that's the most important part. Uh, there we go. You guys are already on my Facebook page. Thank you. I can see the, um, the notifications coming through. Um, let's talk positive stuff. Magic Woman is probably the most beautiful boat I've ever owned. Because it's the only boat I've ever owned. <laughs> it's, a, it's the most beautiful sailboat I've ever seen, I would say. That. Thanks, Owen. I like the post that you send me always on Facebook. And I love that little girl of yours. She looks so beautiful. Um, she looks very cute. So... Magic woman is, I walk past her every day and I look at her and I go, I'm so happy that I chose to come back and to just follow my dreams and make her look the way I thought she could. Right now we have another person that's joining the crew and we're actually in a crew house. People, yes, many. we have a crew house. What does that mean? It means so much more fun for everyone. <laughs> It means this team is going to grow from three people right now to a lot more than we should. Actually. Yeah, I wish I could put my phone here somewhere so I don't have to here. hold it all the time. This year? How do I do that? Because I feel like I'm shaking all the time. Um, Just put it here. It. Sorry, guys. I feel so unprofessional, but that doesn't want to work. Maybe like that. I didn't get that. See? <laughs> Did you not get that, Siri? Just hang on. Hang on. That's it. That's it. So, um... It's a beautiful boat, you know, she, she needed a lot of work when I got back. I spent a lot of money on her and a lot of time, but as you do with all boats, you know, and I don't know if you guys saw that movie called We Built a House, but the more I built that boat and the more I fix the boat, yeah, oh, and I know more rum for the shakes. I'm sorry, guys. I know it's real unprofessional, but my laptop doesn't want to work. Um, I just felt like I was repairing a part of my life. Um... You know, I felt myself in a situation feeling broken and feeling sad and mad and just going through a very rough change. And you, mean, you guys know, you guys that follow me online know, I always speak it. I just give it to you. Yeah. I will send $50. Hope he is okay. Skip, Appreciate thank it. you so much you. for sending that box. Really? And that's also a main factor why we're doing this. We're hoping well that you guys can, can see this. Well done. Part. Well done, brother. Well done. Thank you. Um... In any case, I was saying that as I was building that boat, guys, I felt as she was looking better, my heart feeling better. And 
What I can tell you is when you're going through hard times in your life, get yourself a bow to fix because it takes a long time. It's going to take it out your pocket though, but I mean, it's, it's kind of worth it. I mean, it's going to cost you more money than time, but once you're done, you'll probably feel better. The sellers know this. Sellers yeah, know. and I mean, you can take all types of different um, emotions out on a sailboat. If you're really angry the day, you can really go at it on the engine. Um, are you on live chat or top? I don't know what that means. I'm on live chat. I think on Facebook, I'm not that good with it. So, or if you're feeling really, really sad, you can put on some sad music and sand a little bit, you know, and varnish something meticulous or particular. So I am in such a good space right now. I got us a crew house and the idea with a crew house, and you guys will see this unfold on YouTube, is that I would like so many people, young people, old people, kids, to come and learn sailing. The boat is here in a beautiful marina. Um, we have a farm here. We're doing some sailing classes. Um, we can teach people about um, uh, um, um, navigation, um, whatever it is that you want to come learn. Come and have a spot here on the farm. Come feed the ducks. Come, like we had, pig, we have pigs now. We we slaughtered a pig yesterday. I know. We party a lot. I'm not a redneck, but I'm still from South Africa, and I and I. We have to eat, we have to eat you know, and we have to eat meat. It's really expensive yeah, to, so, to buy meat all the time. So we thought, okay, let's try and find the cheapest way or longest yeah. long-term plan. And yeah. it's been working out so far. So, <clears throat> Oh, Jim, thank you so much, man. Patrick's a good guy. I've never met him in person. Um, I might also, Greg Guthman, not until it's safe. Yeah, true, Greg. That's true. Nice to see that you're on my channel, Greg. I haven't heard from you in a while. Um, so yeah, just everything is good. Everything is real good. Everything is hunky dory. We're just really happy, um, and just living life to the fullest. Crew house, people coming and going, sailing, having fun. Well, it was quite funny the other day. We spoke to to some sailors, and they said, with this COVID time, even though it's a time we have to stay at home and do nothing, kind of thing, there's always something to do on a sailboat. Whereas we wanted to finish certain projects. They said there's always going to be more projects popping up and it gives us people a good time to get as much yeah. out of the boat. So you guys will still see on YouTube, is season two coming up here with a DIY refit of magic called Mace, Making Magic, because we're making magic, and then how we get the crew house and how we get people to come and sail and we teach sailing and we go out for sales and we fix the boat and we've got a carpenter here. We had a lady here from Australia for three months. Um, she's a veterinary nurse, her name's Lisa. She's really nice. You guys will get to see her and meet her on the show soon. Obviously this live is live. And so I'm about three months ahead on footage, which is great for me because then I don't have to stress too much about creating content and COVID, etc. So that's a little bit about that. But just coming back to the real reason for this, Patrick Childress, I just want to tell you that I'm praying for you. Tonight before I go to sleep, I will make sure that I send a, a really big fat prayer up to you and your wife. And um, if there's anything that we can do, please shout. My family friends are ha happy and ready to help. Um, man, I'm getting chills, man. Life is so short. Literally, look here. That's why we, we, we're going to try and push every day from now on. Being on, on the farm and doing what we're doing, we have to try and get as much done as possible because we want to get out there and sail and meet people like, like all these other sailors that are talking. Greg? One of my friends from, from say? Annapolis saying he had... Greg, did you, have, did you get COVID? I hope not, but... He's a good guy. Yeah. He, he's a good guy. He's in love with me, though. Hey, Greg. In a good way. In a good way. He's got a love-hate relationship with me, for, for obvious reasons. Um, but, Patrick, man, hang in there. And guys, go to his GoFundMe page. I posted it on my, um, on my paperboat project and also on my Facebook. So if anybody wants to donate, a buck, two bucks, whatever, just go there. Um, I am going to donate as well from my Patreon money. Hey guys, I've got 14 patrons right now. One it's, four. It's, it's great, it's a start. <laughs> guys, this 14 is positive. patrons. I know it seems not so positive, but we know that you guys are watching. No, videos. I'm positive, it's great. Like 14 <laughs> patrons, like I wish it was 400 at this point, but it's, it'll get there. But I'm definitely gonna put some money towards Patrick and thank you guys for everything, Greg. Please let me know if you're better. Um, if there's anybody out there, please keep, please keep safe. 
Uh, Owen, thank you for the invitation to come and sail with you in Canada. I have thought about it. It is not off the charts. Um, Greg, if we have lost you, we would have lost the Hunter Organization Head Hefe, most general in the United States of America. Greg is a keen sailor and a very nice guy. He's helped us a lot. He helped me a lot in the past, and thank you. Um, 14 is more than 13. That's, see, that's the 14 is more than 13. That's, right on. That's exactly. That's exactly. It is, yeah. <laughs> it's both is and isn't. <laughs> yeah, it both is and isn't. So, no, I'm really, really excited to grow this YouTube channel, guys, with you guys. You know, my heart is just to help people, breathe positivity back into this world. You know, share great experiences, have people come have fun. Uh, the crew houses, you know, it's going to become a, like a real entity on the show. There's a lot happening here. There's a lot of parties. There's a lot of good things. There's a lot of, I mean, there's a wall behind you here with just sailing stuff and priority lists. And as you guys can see in the background a little bit, you can we see have our, sailing, sailing flags up there in the background, as you guys, you guys can are, see. If you guys are watching this, please learn those flags. It's important. Just so bit. how it's going to work is if you come and see us at the crew house, you need to tell me all those sailing flags. And if you don't, there's a shot that you have to drink for everyone that you don't get. So just warning you guys. Um, you can't they, cheat and say you don't know them because then you're going to be drinking a lot yeah, of purpose. Yeah, yeah. That's not fair. So thank you very much for hanging out with us. I'm dragging this on. It's 21 minutes. Bottom line is, Patrick, we love you. We thank you for your contribution to the sailing community. Thank you for always making us laugh and being so amazing on your show. Um, we're hanging there, buddy. Um, and to Rebecca as well, please. please yeah, please man, I get chills over my body again. I'm just like feeling so emotional about that. It's not nice to see people going through that. Duke, there's going to be one, two, three, four shots, maybe five, five shots, five shots. Them. And we might hang the other um, flags up here as well for, for sailing. So you're going to have to learn your alphabet in, in flags. Thank you guys for hanging out. Remember, you're awesome. You can overcome anything you want if you just set your mind to it. And that's literally coming from advice from somebody that's done it over and over and over again. And... Um, when you feel yourself being in a situation where you feel like you can't go on, trust me, it's the most beautiful place you could be. It's just, um, from there on, it's just upwards and onwards. Stay safe, look after yourselves, uh, give everybody that you love big hugs. I'm gonna give him a big hug now. No, no, no. <laughs> He's gonna try and I'm gonna run. Cheers, guys. See you guys Peace. Later. Check you later. I don't even know how to stop this live. I'm gonna try. Let's do it. Cheers, guys.